Governor's Youth Council. And if she's going to practice any time tomorrow, is she going to be rained on? Not in <laughs> Green River. Not well, in Green good. River. What if she was in Salt Lake City? Uh, um, maybe. maybe. Yes. yes. We do have a secondary weather system coming through. Trick or treat. It was a trick on the trick-or-treaters tonight. They had to bundle up and deal with the weather. We did get a little break towards the end of the evening, so things turned out maybe a little better than planned. Still 0.29 in the rain bucket at the Salt Lake City Airport. 64 the high today, though. That's not too bad, really, considering where it could have been. Now, Keith Finlayson sends us these pictures. Look at the dark clouds off in the distance right there. Watch what happens as they come in and envelop the city with all of the rain this evening. We thank Keith and remind you that you can go to our website, ksl.com, and see thousands of these beautiful pictures as they come into us from viewers all over the place. Bountiful point 28 tonight. Elko, a trace of rain, 53 the high. Kanab, 66 today. No rain in Kanab. Moab was 71. That's the warm spot in the state of Utah today. Pleasant Grove, 35 hundredths of an inch of precipitation. Provo, 0.29. So Utah County really getting the lion's share of precipitation. Look at Springville, 0.62. St. George, you were 70 and it was 48 this morning. Beautiful weather across southern Utah until that front came through. And as it whisked through, it brought some gusts of wind and then it's gone. Well, there's where the front is right now. Here's the first low and then there's this secondary low and uh, new computer charts tonight say this is going to dribble by northern Utah tomorrow. So we are going to have to deal with the possibility of some scattered showers. Let's go to Live 5 Vortex. Now this is the new generation of radar, you can see Li Fi Vortex on your your personal phone, your iPhone, on your Android. You can go to KSL.com. You can see Vortex right in your own neighborhood, and we're showing it to you here in HD. Put this into motion, go a little bit farther south. You can still see some scattered showers coming in across northern Utah, and it's this northwest flow that is going to continue to bring us the possibility of some showers, not only for us tonight, but again tomorrow. Here's the upper level low. That's the first one. Here's what we call the kicker. The second one, and look, it's bringing some rain along the coastline. So as that slides inland, there are going to be showers, especially in Idaho and parts of Wyoming, and as it works its way eastward. Let's put these maps into motion. Watch as the cold front comes in. This right here, this is 5 a.m. Here's where the cold front will be right there. This is 11 a.m. So look at this, a little ahead of the cold front, some rain across northern Utah. Then it slides by. Should be improving weather late in the day and by Monday, high pressure comes in and this big, huge high pressure is going to be with us the remainder of the work week. Let's look at the forecast. Here again, the maps go into motion. You can see some showers across the Uintas and right there around Strawberry Reservoir, warming up a little bit, some sunshine, Hanksville 61. We uh, added uh, mesquite for you there. Forecast of 72 high. We have 67 in St. George the next seven days. Oh, so nice. Oh, perfect Gulf weather in northern Utah. We start out the next 24 hours in the morning dry, but watch what happens when we put these maps into motion. This is about 9 a.m. Look at the showers from about I-80 northward. Chance for rain in Logan, Brigham City. Scattered showers again. This is about 1 p.m. Let's go to 3.30 p.m. They're kind of moving away, and then by 6 p.m. they're gone. So again, the bottom line is we have a chance for a few showers tomorrow, 55 on Monday, and partly cloudy skies rest of the work week. We're going into the 60s, and we're going to have a little inversion, so maybe a, a slight chance for a bit of haze. But after tonight and tomorrow, well, I'm good time to get out and work in the yard. And, or don't Rake. work in the yard. Break up leaves. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay, thanks, Dan. You're welcome.